Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create these uh, point of view scopes and this tutorial is inspired by a video copilot tutorial and I'll put a link to that into the description. Okay, let's ho head over into Blender. We are mostly going to work in the node based editor, so switch over to that select the compositing nodes, use nodes and backdrop. I'm not going to need the render layers, so I'll delete that. Shift A to add a image input. Open and I want to use this factory video footage which I just happen to have lying around. Then make sure to add a distortion node to scale everything up to the render size. And with Control shift left click on scale, you create a viewer node and can see the results. And every time you Control shift left click on a node, it gets uh, connected to this viewer. So, Next thing we need, I select both of them, Shift D to duplicate, and we want the a lens image, and I have these from Video Copilot, and I will use this to set up. First of all, set up the rough shape, the circle in the center for the lens. So. Shift A, Mat, Ellipse Mask, and then I will size this thing up until it lines up with the circle of this field head here and I will make it a little bit smaller because I want to blur the circle to make it to give it a little bit of a smoother transition. So I shift A, filter, blur, fast Gaussian, connect this mask and about I don't know five should be well maybe Eight, a bit too much. This looks good. Okay, color, mix, and then simply multiply these two together. And as you can see, you have a sort of black vignette around the edges or around this original photo. And by the way, the uh, when you import with the image node a video file, make sure to have auto refre refresh. So when you move forward in the editor, you will automatically update the image sequence and make sure that your frames that are set in this node match the length of your video clip. So. But right now it's just a black vignette. How can we improve this? Well, if you look at something through a lens and if it's not really a super good lens, you will see some lens distortion. What does this do? Well, if we increase the distortion into the positive value, it will warp the image like this and negative we will get this sort of inverted fish eye effect. I like 0.15, that's not too much, but it begins to become visible. And if we add a little bit of dispersion, we will see how it gets blurred on the edges and the colors shine uh, and there are some there's some shift in the color channels like you see this green and red 
Now, this already looks pretty okay, but we can improve it even further. By color, mix, and screen. And now we will see some lens dirt on top of this image. But that's a little bit much for my taste, so I will add a color gamma node. And you can see when I increase gamma, the image will get darker and we will get less of the dirt from this screen node. Also, I'd like to copy the lens distortion, Shift D, over but without the actual distortion, just so I get this shift in color on the edges that will match up with what we already have in this image right here. Maybe I can decrease it even a little bit. And right now, the dirt, those little speckles on the lens, appear all the way through the middle. And I want, I actually want the middle of the screen to look completely clean. So I copy this ellipse mask and I decrease it in size. even more and want to I want to blur it even stronger like 20% in each direction and then I have to invert this because I want the dot in the center to become erased and when I use this as the factor of the screen, we will see the middle of the point of our lens is completely clean and the dirt slowly appears to uh, towards the edge of our image. Now for a final touch, we add a, another image input and I have already prepared a POV scope. I have created this in GIMP, but it's fairly simple. I'm sure you can come up with something yourself and use alpha to see what I'm doing. You can see right here, it's a simple crosshair with a dot in the middle. And when I use alpha over with this image and this, we see we have the crosshair on top of our sniper scope or camera scope or whatever this is. But I can improve this even further. As you can see, towards the edge of our field of view, everything gets blurred. Everything except for those scope, uh, sniper scope lines. How can we fix that? Simple. We use the um, bokeh blur node. What's great about this node is we can use variable size and then use this mask input that we already used right here to erase the dust in the center. And now if we use this as the size input, everything that's dark will get less blur and everything that's white will get full blur. And if we connect that, we will see... Oh! Well, sorry about that. Let's see if I can rescue this session. Should have saved, but recover last session. What? Uh, crap. Ah, 
I open what I have um, prepared beforehand. So this is all the same and we have this variable size node. Here's our crosshair connected with this and a variable size node. And as input for this variable size, we use this black circle. And that will mean the center won't be blurred at all. And on the edge, there will be blur. And if you can see it right here, if I would increase the blur value, it would get blurred quite a bit, but 2.5 looks quite okay for my taste. And in the end, don't forget to connect the alpha overnote to the composite output and the use alpha. And this is the result that you are going to get. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. See you next time and happy blending.